home. No hurricanes, no big storms. It is quiet. Sky is blue. The temperature is 68 degrees in Port Washington. That northeast wind, though, has been gusty at times, over 20 miles per hour. We haven't had a lot of wind of late, but now that we're starting to transition from summer to fall, you'll start to get some of those windy days once again. This morning, we were in the upper 50s to lower 60s across the area. We had some cloud cover overnight to help keep the temperatures up. Yesterday morning, I thought for sure, Yesterday afternoon, I thought for sure that this morning we would see some 40s. We got close. It was 52 in the Dells, 53 in Burlington and Lake Geneva. Tomorrow morning, I think that happens. Just a few clouds trying to develop out there today, and if you get a few of those, you might see a sprinkle. That is it. Otherwise, the air is just too dry, and those clouds aren't really all that impressive looking. So the weather headlines for today, breezy and cool, feels more like fall. It's the first day of meteorological fall that we were talking about earlier. The three warmest days of the year, or three warmest months, <laughs> we had more than three days, are behind us, and now we start into that transition into the fall months. A great holiday weekend, however, and on the seven-day forecast, you'll see that we are not done with summer just yet. 68 degrees in Brown Deer and Shorewood, 69 in South Milwaukee, 70 in Franklin, Waukesha County at this hour, showing you upper 60s to around 70 degrees, 70 in Brookfield and Dousman, 69 in Heartland and Pewaukee. And this afternoon, holding steady right around that 69 to 70 degree mark. Over the next 12 hours, temperatures have pretty much maxed out and will start to cool down as that sun sets right around 730. And you'll see the temperatures falling into the lower 60s before midnight. Packers are playing in Kansas City. They, too, as well, are getting to enjoy this cold front. They've been so hot and so humid. But tonight, temperatures will be in the 70s, 74 at kickoff, 68 by the end of the game. And the humidity down there has been just non-existent after being so sticky uh, the last couple of months. But for us, we are enjoying the drier air as well, not just for today, but for tomorrow and Saturday as well. Still a little bit of humidity in the air for Sunday, and it does get very humid for Labor Day. But if you're traveling around the state, I know a lot of folks are already hitting the roadways uh, to get up north for the long holiday weekend. It looks to be just fine traveling today as well as tomorrow and temperatures tomorrow will be in the 70s around the state tonight dropping into the 50s pretty much for everyone except for right along the lakefront look at the dells 49 degrees and highs tomorrow upper 60s to lower 70s and as I mentioned if you're traveling around the state plenty of sunshine low to mid 70s statewide and that will be the case throughout the weekend the next chance of rain not until Monday but look at this gradual warming trend 71 Friday 74 Saturday Sunday is 77 and then it is warm and humid Monday Tuesday and Wednesday we are back in the 80s Bridget? Ooh all right thanks Brian